doing journalism? Are you looking for a way to better yourself, the people around you? Well, I'm sorry, you're in the wrong place. This is the Charge In Podcast, people. I was going to make that joke, but you made it before. <laughs> you were going to make that joke. Yeah. yeah. Yo, yo. So, this is the first Charge In Podcast. I got my boy Zach with me. Sup? Sup? Well, I say with me. We are using the um, magic Power of the, of the internet. internet. Um, yeah. Because we now live about 100 miles apart. Because he left yeah. me. Um, a few months back left me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is the Charging Podcast, people. Um, where we discuss electric bikes, electric vehicles, but also on our journey to not being a fat bastard, in my case. What about you, Zach? What's, what's your journey? Is yours similar? Well, it's 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 pretty much identical, to be honest with you, mate. Uh, yeah, I don't own an electric bike. I wish I did. So maybe in this journey, I'll find a way to, to make that happen. That'd be good. That'd be good. Yeah, I think... But I, I need to lose weight, too. Yeah. You need to lose weight, too. Yeah. I think that's safe. I think it's safe to say such things right that yeah, we both it? we both need to lose a little bit of weight yeah and yeah. we've we've done similar things in the past um which were kind of successful yeah um, yeah 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 because um yeah. so a little bit of background on me because people know me now but i think i was i was so big once that my scale it just said an amount like yeah. an amount and it was like first of all i thought it was like um accurate i was like fuck i'm a fat bastard but i but just you're found always it dead odd. on the same way yeah i just found it odd that it was like yeah. dead on like a pound it wasn't 0.1 it was just dead on a pound yep. and then I started losing weight and it still wasn't changing. And then one week it just suddenly did, did change. change. Yeah. So then I looked in, I looked at the fucking manual for our scale and it was like, yeah, only goes up to 350 <laughs> pounds, which is what it was at the time. <laughs> oh God. And I was just like, God damn. So yeah, I was over 350 yeah. pounds. All I know at that point was that I was over 350 pounds. That's the only thing I knew. Yeah. Um, and then, I feel like it couldn't have been much more than that because I've known you for like a decade now. I don't think I've ever seen you pass like three sixty. I can imagine like you never four hundred. That's I'm <laughs> sure of that, right? I don't know, mate. Because uh, but you are six foot five, six foot five, and a little smidgen, and a little smidgen. Yeah, yeah, so... just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Shameful, mate. But yeah, I Shameful. think. Um, yeah so and then that bad that was like i think that was like 2020 because it was bef just for COVID, because obviously covid hit in march didn't it 2020 yep and i think that i started the journey like december so not 2019 but the very end of 2019 so and then i think it was six or seven months and i lost like 65 pounds something like that in like you half a year or something because i got down to i think it was 291 something like that so yeah. from yeah. whatever above 350 say it was 360 down to 291 yeah. um and then i'll put like half of it a little bit more than half of it back on mm. and then after that i've just been milling you know what I mean? Yeah. I've yeah, not yeah, I've not been not been too hard about losing anything, but you haven't been gaining exactly. all that much. Yeah, yeah. Like every single week consistently. Exactly. Um yeah. but the issue is is I yesterday I had that moment. You know where you get that moment where your body just goes right enough is enough, son. You know? Yeah. And mine was yeah, yesterday, yeah. so people on the channel would have already watched the video which is my merry christmas video last video and what i do is i do face cam for my videos mm. um 
and people that are watching the videos they get the cropped version because I crop it into a square but it actually records me from like my belly button Holes. upwards yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah. And mate, there was far too much jiggling going on. Thank God, <laughs> thank God for for cropping, bro. Literally, every bump, yeah. like my whole body was moving like jelly. I tell you, and I'm watching this video. I was like, this is, this is horrible. No I was point. like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is this is absolutely disgusting. This has got to go. This has got to go. So yeah, I that, find for me, mm. I find for me that um. Like I know, there's like it's almost like, like um, like if you're playing a game and there's like a boss and then the boss has another form, right? It's like it's always a bit like that. So like there's a point where I'm like, um, I say as if I've been big or or small for a long time, um. So there are like stages of like, ooh, uh, my my thirty six, my thirty four regular are a bit tight, and like when I'm sitting down, like it'll dig into me a bit, right? And then, like, you get to a certain point where it's, like, it affects the way you move yeah. and, like, the way you stand. Like, I have, like, when I put on a certain amount, I'm, like, I find myself standing like this a lot. <laughs> like, I'm just, like, I have to push it out to, like, balance backwards. Yeah. Like, I'm going to fall over. <laughs> um, and, like, just, like, little bits of, like, uh, like, clothes that used to fit normally are a bit, like, ooh, you're hugging, a bit, hugging me a bit there. Mm. Um, or, like, going up and down stairs is a bit more, like... <laughs> <laughs> um you just you just start is, dying a little bit a little bit yeah, so more sucks. and more every but day it's, but it's so it's gradual that you don't notice you don't you so exactly. gradually don't notice. yeah and like you you do at, when you do notice you're like oh i must have put on a little bit that's fine i'll I'll take it off soon but i'll just i'll, I'll deal with it in a couple of weeks and then a couple of weeks back like, yeah i'll do <laughs> yeah. it in a couple of weeks yeah um but like, i had a very similar story to you in terms of um I was 290 pounds yeah. at like 290 something, almost 300 pounds um, at like six foot. So that's like a no bueno. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. um, and then I think I got down to, oh my God, it's sad thinking what I got down to, Jay. Oh no. <laughs> I was like four kilos off my goal weight. Off your goal weight, yeah. Yeah, because I got down to 89 kilos. I don't know what that is in pounds. It's like... Uh, 2.2... 190? Yeah, 190 something like, like that. Just under it's like 100, almost 100 pounds. Yeah, so almost 100 pounds lost. Pounds, yeah. And now I'm back up to 235. World's tough. But, Especially around Christmas, man. Christmas yeah. is like the worst time for it. Just because it everyone is just like, let's eat. It's eats time. Yeah. It's just fucking <laughs> eats and eats and eats time. You know, so... True. Yeah. But we will get... Does that mean into Sorry, more of this a little bit later about our fatness yes. but this is the charging podcast guys and i've designed it, it this way so that those of you who are interested in electric bikes you can come to this section if you're interested in weight loss you can go to the second half the and if you're interested in both you can watch all of it you know but yeah. if you're not you can just easy switch off straight you. after yeah. you know yeah um, which is absolutely fine. So first of all, what we're going to talk about, and the reason everyone is subscribed to this channel usually is electric cycling. And what we have is we have what all good things should have contrast. Because Ooh. I am an electric cycler. Zach is not an electric cycler. You know, wants to be. Not yet. Yeah. But can't really afford to be. I used to be. I used to be. <laughs> Yeah, your bike wasn't really electric you. bike, though, was it? Yeah, was it? True. Was it, mate? Like a, mate, is, is hum, electric bike... I'm the hybrid of bikes, it, yeah. Yeah. Zach's electric bike didn't even have a chain. Yeah. It, well, I had a rubber one. <laughs> a <little laughs> rubber yeah, chain. Didn't have, didn't, didn't, have a, didn't have any gears. Yeah, 250 no. watt. No yep. suspension either. Yep. Mate, it was pretty dire. Not it was gonna lie. pretty it was dire. Like and then, when he's, then it got nicked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which yes. is not the first time Zach's had his bike nicked. I've had about six bikes nicked. Yeah, in the, various different countries. It this seems is to just be... mental. Like, how are you that unlucky? 
<laughs> like, that's honestly, not even the worst that's mid. So yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. be coming from this electric cycling shit from two different angles, right? Because yeah. so the first thing I want to talk to you about Zocky is Zach for sure. <laughs> first thing I want to talk to you about is electric bikes. Yeah, becoming more and more popular as the days goes on. As the day goes on, right? Or days go yeah. on, right? And like yesterday, I went out for that cycle, and I saw like every day I go out, I see more. And the difference is, is I see more and more people from different age groups as well, because like electric bikes were like marketed initially to give you that support, you know. So yeah. it was it came from so people, let's say of an older generation, were the target audience, yeah, back then. Mm -hmm. So so you know people, you know. Yeah, just give them that extra support. But now it's switching. I think companies want that kid market. You know, they want their pe they want their parents to be pressured into getting them. Then so super seventy three for Christmas, that kind of thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. how how do you think electric bikes and p manufacturers of electric bikes break into that mainstream market? where they overtake the people buying normal bikes they want to be at least 50 percent of the market how do you think they if get you there? live in if you live in the uk i think you um love it or hate it um you've seen all those e-scooters all the time mm. everywhere right um uh, kids love them seem to love them that's the, the the key demographic there even though you need a license to to use it i've seen definitely people who don't have licenses <laughs> ride those 100 percent um i think that's kind of where they'll need to go the issue is like affordability and uh just public trust yeah. i think in bristol i don't know where uh, 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 where else it could have been but we used to have like these yellow bikes yeah i think it was called yo bike yo or bikes. something yo bikes they were basically great for a week and then they <laughs> became something that the river had to interact with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it just, yeah. every time you saw it, it was in the river, in a ditch, <laughs> broke to shit, um, thrown over fences into like private places. <laughs> like apparently like the MOD site had people throwing bikes over oh my somehow. God. Like I don't understand. Um, so it's about more about public trust. But I think that might be because if you're riding a bike, right? you're still putting in a lot of effort, yeah. right? So you're like, maybe you ride it and like the chain comes loose or something like that, right? And you're like, ah, what's even the point? I'm angry, I'll throw it in a river. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Trying to understand that mentality is kind of hard. Um, Mate, the thing is, people, yeah, you're exactly right though. I think people like, they went, so yo bikes came out and people were like, sick, I don't need a bike to ride a bike. You know, I can just yeah. find one on the side of the street. It's like a pound for an hour or something like that. Just go for a, go yeah, for a yeah, cycle. Yeah. But then people very quickly paid the pound, got on the bike, and went, fuck, I actually don't want to do exercise now. Yeah. You yeah, know, like, oh my no God, fucking actually kind of hard. Yeah, yeah like, know, I'm, I'm not, not a I'm, fan of that. Yeah, it's not a pound an hour for a motorbike. It's a pound an hour for a bike. And they were just like, yeah, yeah fuck that. And then, and then the e-scooters came along and solved that issue. Because like, they were yeah. just like, oh, dope, I don't have to do anything. I can just... Yeah, and I'll people just go. Loved it, and then obviously yeah. an e-bike. It's the, it's the middle of that, isn't it? It's the yeah. I'm hoping the in between, the comfort of an e-bike, yeah, matched with the lack of effort, would prevent having issues with public trust. So like, I'm sure if I was a kid, if I was like 12, and you say, oh, give a pound, I can like go anywhere I want with like basically half a motorcycle, right? Yeah. I'm not sure I would protect that thing with my life. <laughs> so I hope that if they did want to make break into that mainstream market, that something like a yo bike or a subscription based service for multiple bikes could work. Mm. But knowing the public, I'm not sure that's necessarily true. I haven't seen any like e scooters in like rivers or anything, to be fair. Or not many. Like it seems to be exceptionally rare because it seems to be always in use. Yeah, they're they're usually they're usually just left on the floor. No one chucks them away. They just don't like yeah, they just put them back properly. Them. They just drop them on the yeah, drop yeah. them on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
But he have you ridden weird... one yet? What's that? I have you ridden East? I've not paid for one. Yeah. Um, that sounds bad. Um, I've not paid for <laughs> one. Um, what I did is one of our mutual friends, Tarzan. He back when it was um. Oh, what? Because they've changed now. They've changed now. What was the original company that did the, did the, the e-bikes e-scooters? in Bristol? Yeah, the e-scooters. Oh, I thought it was just... um. Oh, the e-scooters. Um, yeah. What's the it... original company called? Ah. Uh, the pink, the red I ones. I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. Call it Boing. I yeah. don't know. So, the original company, they used to offer a um membership. So, instead of going out and finding one and paying a pound for an hour, I think it was like... 60 pound and it was called long-term rental and you got to take it with you so it's just yours yeah so it's six pound a month yeah, it's yeah. always yours um mm. and they send you a charger yeah to charge it up whereas like the ones out in the wild per se some guy comes in a van and swaps the batteries out um yeah every now and again um so yeah and i i rode on his i had a little go on his um yeah and it's a weird it's i find i find electric scooters quite quite strange experience um yeah. like on them because like i tried pools as well and even though it's fast and it's fun it's it's, it's yeah it's just o- an odd experience because like as you said mentioned a minute ago it's not comfortable you're still stood up mm-hmm. you know people yep. are like oh yep. sweet i can get a scooter to work but still that 20 minutes are on the scooter they're still just stood up you know yeah it's why you I see do, loads of I people think- now putting fucking seats on them yeah, and then yeah, it's like, yeah. like at one point it's like, it. why don't you just get a bike? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like don't just just I get mean, an electric bike. In theory, I guess the best the best solution would be like an e like an e like moto like like <laughs> moto cc something like that. You know, like like yeah. a basically <laughs> a motorcycle, but like capped way back so it can only do like ten fifty miles an hour. Yeah, so you can get from A to B and sit down and do it. I think. That would be like the peak. No one would fuck with that yeah. because it's, it's, everyone yeah. would want that. And this is the problem. And this the root of the thing is that is completely possible. Like people can do that. Yeah. Piece, like I could do that right now. I could just go down to my e bike, put it on pedal assist three. It w- it, it won't go any higher than fourteen point five miles an hour, and just yep. plow along. The problem is UK law. People still got a pedal. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like, because they say it doesn't matter if it goes five mile an hour or mm. 50 mile an hour. The moment you put a throttle on it, it's a motorbike and you need a license. Which, in, I don't know how the people of the channel feel or you how you feel. Yeah. But that seems kind of silly to me, considering we already have e-scooters, which don't require pedaling that can go faster. Yeah. Like, I don't understand. Yep. That. Ridiculous. I'd have rid- ridiculous. Um, Although, so- having used an e-scooter before... I maybe it's because I'm old now because I'm like I'm like 27 and like mm. it's passed me by, but it seems so unstable. I don't think I'd ever want to do it as like my main way to get around from place to place. Maybe because I only used it briefly and I didn't get used to it. Yeah. But yeah, like standing and like if I fall, I'm gonna like I'm gonna die. Like <laughs> I'm I'm in like a standing position. <laughs> I, I'm gonna get caught by the the bars and the the thing in front yeah. of me. I don't know. It's just scary. Yeah, a, a scooter. A, a... An electric scooter is by far the least safe option in these, in these yeah, electric yeah. in these electric things, but they got the most leeway. And I think it's because obviously the government are making money from them. You know, the government mm. aren't making money from all these electric bikes, they're making money from all the electric scooters, which which yeah. is a bit rubbish. Whereas like like in America, like American law for e bikes anyway, I find mm perfect right so an e-bike can in america an e-bike can go anywhere up to 28 mile an hour so 28 yeah. miles an hour an e-bike can go up to it's allowed a throttle it's allowed a, it's allowed a throttle and i think the maximum wattage of a of you know a, a motor is like a thousand so mm. obviously that's 250 more wattage than ours yeah nearly 15 mile an hour faster than ours and the really? throttle is irrelevant. So if they don't care about the throttle, because yeah, whether, whether you're going 28 miles an hour spinning your legs or 28 miles an hour without spinning your legs, what fucking difference does it make? You know, really? Yeah. You know? Um, so yeah, I think that's, because I, I think that's a sweet spot, honestly, because mm. even I wouldn't go, like I might go at a bit just 
because I can and on a straight, but like, yeah, you're really not going to go 28 miles an hour on a fucking cycle track anyway. Yeah, you know, yeah. so it's although like, you you say that though, right? I mean, maybe I'm crazy, right? But when I yeah. used to bike a lot, like I used to like bike every single day, like at least an hour a day, um, mainly because I had to for work, right? I feel like when you go down some of those hills and I'm going, I'm going insano mode. Like I could, I could probably rock up to like 25. Like I, oh, if it's yeah. safe to do so and there's no one around. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I, I, why right, not, right? That was, that was going to be my next bit was bikes are dangerous because you can't keep up with traffic. You can't get out of trouble. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like it's what yeah. I said to you about why I like Especially having, hills. Why I oh like having a fast car. Yeah. Well, I like having a fast car. One of the sec- one of the main reasons is, say I'm in trouble, I can get out. Mm. I can get like yeah, I see yeah, something yeah. coming, I can just put my foot down and get out of that bad situation. You know, yeah, like yeah. I've been gives you more opportunities. Yeah. yeah, like I've been in like my very first car it had something fucking pitiful, like fifty one brake horsepower or something like that. So it mm. it took it took something like eighteen point five seconds to get to sixty mile an hour. <laughs> right, so. <clears throat> Yeah, it was it was a joke. So like, whenever if I accidentally pulled out a little bit too mm-hmm. fast or something like that, yeah. a little bit too slow, more like, or yeah. wrong, there's nothing I can do. I just got to be like, sorry. Whereas like in my yeah. car now, if I go, oh, I probably shouldn't have pulled out there, and then someone's coming at me, I can get out of our way. I can get out of our way fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. And I think the same's with the same with bikes because mm. we, I, me, and you you less now because you don't live here but bristol we have the luxury of just like a massive cycle path network throughout the whole city Mm. you know yeah um whereas people don't have that so a lot of people have to road ride you know and it would be so much easier if they could go that little bit faster you know that little bit more torque so you can get out of trouble yeah not even that not even trouble so like when i used to ride my bike a lot and if it wasn't on the cycle track and I was going up a, like a main road hill or something. I would literally get off, walk my bike on the on the pavement, yeah. to get up the hill. Because I'm like, I'm not going two mile an hour and upsetting every single car mm-hmm. on the road. Not that it's wrong to do that if you're a cyclist. I'm just saying, yeah. me personally, right? I don't like the idea of like uh, potentially angry cars up my ass. Like, um, yeah. I'm trying to go as fast as that's I can. That's exactly another if it was thing, an isn't e-bike, it? Yeah, that's that's exactly the same because like. People get annoyed because they're stuck mm. behind someone slow. Doesn't matter if it's a bike or a car or a motorbike. Car, if the yeah. person's going yeah. slowly, it irritates people, right? Yeah. And a bike's just the ultimate culprit of that because it goes slower than all the rest of the things, you know. But we could easily fix yep. that. You know, mm-hmm. it's like the guy isn't the guy isn't pedaling his ass off on a on a hill <laughs> and purposely going two mile an hour to annoy you. He's doing it because he's got no other choice. And it's funny, no offense to any of the non-e-bike cyclers, normal bike cyclers or whatever, right? I find even like the most fit looks like, um, what is it? It's not, is it not Louis Armstrong? Who, who, who's the <laughs> cyclist? Louis Armstrong. Uh, <laughs> um, wait, what's the cyclist? Is it, is it Louis? Oh, Louis Armstrong. God. I can't even Google it because I'm using my phone for something else. Actually, I do it on my, I do it on my PC. Armstrong bike. Lance. Lance Armstrong. Lance, Lance. Yeah. Jesus. Louis, is Louis the singer? <laughs> Louis I Armstrong. Is, like, yeah. yeah, I think Louis Armstrong's a singer, isn't it? Louis Armstrong. Yes, Louis Armstrong people is. Are raging, <laughs> people are raging at their monitors right now. What the, He's what a the trumpeter. Um, trumpeter, exactly, yes. Yeah. Louis Armstrong. Um, yeah, so, like, even, like, the most Lance Armstrong-looking fuckers, right? They're, like, they're struggling, bro. Yeah, because, and of course they are. They're going like five mile, ten mile an hour, ma- no, f- like three miles an hour maximum yeah. up a hill. I'm like, if you just had a little, you know what I mean? A little you bit have to use all the time. Just a little bit out. A little bit juice. Yeah. Do pellets is zero most of the time, and then shoot. Yeah. Up and there's the hill. another thing, right? What I think is making the buzz, as in more people getting these bikes, and it's a mm. big thing for me. Big thing for me, and. Which is another secondary reason why I always laugh when people comment on my videos and they're like, "You spent two thousand pound on that bike. If you give me a grand, I can make you a bike that goes faster, all that kind of stuff." It's like, yeah, you could, but it's mm. not going to look like my bike, is it? My yeah. bike looks the fucking shit. 
You know what I mean? Also, I'm not sure it's going to be anywhere near as safe. No. I'm not sure but what, like, what I the like, legality is around that. I like shit that looks good, yeah? Mm. I like Super 73 out of that market. Down, their bikes are sexual healing. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, yes. I think more and more businesses, they got if they come at it from an aesthetic point of view, they'll mm. get a lot of more of the younger audience, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because okay. they want to rock up at school. Like... They want to rock up at school with that electric bike and be like, "Chet is fucking shit, boy." True. You know oh, what although, I mean? Like, also, a problem, right? I know <laughs> back when I was in school, if I rocked up with a like expensive electric bike, that shit's gone next day. <laughs> I, something's happening. I don't know what. It's locked up. I don't to be know. fair, you did go to like one of the roughest schools in Bristol, so yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I did. Very fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's funny though you say that because I feel like. It is going that way. The more bikes I see, like it used to be incredibly rare that I'd see like a like a bike like yours, like a low ride fat tire, right? Mm. It's still rare, but it's not as rare. No. Like I feel like if I if I went on like an hour bike ride, I'd see at least two or three, maybe. Yeah. Including yours, I guess, if I'm yeah. riding with you. <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah, I think Whereas it used to be I'd never see them ever. Yeah. I used to when I was when I was working, um, and I had to go in. So I'm still working, but I just don't have to go into work. When I used to have to go in, I used to cycle in when it was dry. Mm. Um, and I reckon on my cycle, so we're talking like seven and a half miles mm. on the cycle track at, you know, going to work time. So there's a lot of cyclists on the road. I reckon I'd see like 20 to 30% of bikes are electric or at least electric, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and then I reckon like two percent, if that, are like my style of bike. Like so fat like that tire, yeah, fat yeah, tire, yeah. you know, seven fifty mm. watt kind of thing, um, or just fat tire. Um, yeah. Because I'd see probably three or four on the ride in, but I'd see like over like two hundred, three hundred bikes on the way on sure. the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of electric bikes, a lot of electric bikes, mm. just in a more traditional style i guess um yeah whereas but yeah it's getting getting more and more and the thing is as well my favorite thing about it <laughs> the reason i made the channel to be fair is is the questions and the community because everyone's interested in them you can't go anywhere with at least someone coming up to you mm. and being like what is that yeah, especially your bike, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like when, when I rode around on a hybrid, they'd be like, okay. Yeah. Like, it, it's definitely levels to it. Yeah. Um, um, well, it didn't yeah. help. The one you bought was made by a vacuum company, wasn't it? Was it a vacuum company? Yeah. Do I, do I name and shame? I don't know. Yeah, it was uh, G-Tech. Yeah, it's a vacuum company, isn't it? G-Tech. Yeah, it was G-Tech. Vacuum yeah. company, yeah. Um, to be fair, it was, it was, it, it was decent. It had zero suspension. It yeah. had. It was a rough um, ride. It was a rough. It was very much a cycle track only, mm. and even the best cycle tracks have like bumps and cracks and yeah. trees coming out from underneath the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it served its purpose. Like I did decent. A <laughs> few. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I was always better. Like when you first got your first electric bike, which mm. I'm not sure you talk about a lot. No. Um. What was it? It was a um. It's, it was a. I always say Saracen, but it wasn't a Saracen. Sauron. Uh, um, it's, Sauron it's, it's, it's the ones. Uh, it's the ones that um. It's like a Halfords. Halfords like always a... always sell. Yeah, <laughs> Halfords. E Carrera. It was a. It was Carrera. A, yeah, Carrera. Yeah, Carrera's not bad. I was quite like a Carrera. A Carrera Vengeance. But a my, my, I think... the problem with them though, mate, is is yes, Carreras aren't bad. And, you know, the electric system's fine, yeah. But they are essentially just taking the job out of your hands. Like, you're paying that extra money, whereas, like, you could buy the non-electrified Carrera Vengeance and an e-bike kit, the same one that they'll use, for, like, less 250 money. quid less. You're just, you're just paying for someone to fit it for you, essentially. Yeah. Which um, isn't... Like an, an unjustified ass, right? Especially yeah. for the price, right? Like, I, I assembled my normal. Remember my Boardman? Yeah. 
Which I assembled with the forks. Yeah, you assembled the wrong way. I was about to say, do you really want to go into this story about how amazing yeah, you are at like, assembling bro, bikes? Bro, I, 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 I don't care. Bro, I'm, I'm trying my best, right? <laughs> but like, I definitely don't want to set up my electric bike because I don't want to like, explode <laughs> halfway in my ride, right? Um, but yeah, I, I mounted it. I think that's on video. I think when we did our first big ride, I think that's on video. Like, it that's backwards. Yeah, it is. It is on video. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I can understand the the utility and the, the the comfort that comes with getting something assembled for yourself. But I think the Carrera was pretty. I remember I tried it as well. Like, yeah. I remember the Carrera being quite good. I mean, it is what it is, right? But yours yeah. is quite a luxury e bike. So yeah, like, it's a very different experience. Yeah, I think um, it was good. Like on a flat, it's all you needed. On a, on a, yeah. on a flat, it was all you needed. It would keep you up at like sixty mile an hour while she plodded along, fine. But as soon as you got to hill. Uh, got to a hill that went 250 motor fucking pointless you might as well not have it you know it's just yeah. you're getting off the bike and walking out of the hill at that point you know so it's yeah it's like 250 watt motors mm. <sighs> and that's another thing that's the limit in england is 250 the legal limit is 250 watt motor yeah and yeah it's it's pitiful mate it's it, it's yeah. just not enough you know it's just simply not enough to do mm. stuff. And especially like in Bristol, which is a pretty hilly land, you know, yep. it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you need that extra bit of power, you know? I remember with my normal board, man, I used to get, um, I used to like um, dips. So yeah. like if there was a hill coming, as long as there was a downhill first, I could get the acceleration so I could manage to get to the top of a hill. Yeah. Usually <laughs> maybe it was like 10 seconds of yeah. cycling up a hill. But yeah, it was, um, yeah, it's definitely not great. It's whereas, like, like with my bike, I'm sure I'm almost positive that there's going to be hills that it just won't manage with me on it. But yeah. I've not, I've, I've not arrived at them yet. You know, I've been at yeah. the places I ride. There's not that kind of challenge, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, it's it does everything I need it to do, except mm. for go a little bit faster. Mm. You know. And I'm not a mechanic, you know? So, like, as much as I want to do, as much as I'm like, oh, I want a new controller, I put a new motor on it, all those kind of things, my self-confidence in being able to achieve that successfully by myself, low, very low. I completely understand. I think we had a similar conversation, like, a few weeks ago where you're like, uh, we had to change the battery in our car. Mm-hmm. And you were like, oh, just change it yourself, you spud. Like, it's a 10 second job or five minute job. Right? I'm like, I I know what I'm capable of. I know where my boundaries <laughs> are. I like, I can do some things that most people would never do, right? And fix yeah. it and be fine. But like, when it comes to cars or like mechanics, I'm like, I'd just rather not risk it. Like, yeah. I, I just, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, what I'd say yeah. is just to round that bit, this section off is say, yes, the, the, people riding electric bikes is increasing people buying electric bikes is slowly increasing but what i'd say is if i was ceo of a new bike company making electric bikes what i'd say to you as someone who rides electric bikes likes electric bikes is one above all else make them look cool Oh, it's a reaction look. My, my Mac's doing <laughs> reactions. One, make them look cool, right? Let's do yep. it again. Two, two, don't make them dirt cheap because the problem is, dirt. funny enough, I had this conversation. It was on an e-commerce, e-commerce course that I did years ago. If you make some of dirt cheap, it's almost as much as a turn off as making it really expensive because people just think it's a piece of shit. If it's really, really cheap, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just make it affordable. We're talking like, I had this conversation with Zach recently, is because recently I moved into middle class, right? As a job, I moved into middle class, yeah? Because yes. I got a new job, I earned pretty decent money, and I moved into middle class, right? Which, first of all, I couldn't quite realize because I thought middle class was a lot higher. But middle class, actually, in the UK, get this, people, starts at £27,000 a year right? 27 pounds a pound a year, right? So I earn more than that, but it starts at 27 pounds a pound a year. Yep. Um, 
but you're thinking about so the next bike i want yeah the super 73 adventure series is five grand five thousand pound right the average person mm-hmm. in the uk earns 24 grand a year 72 yep. percent of people in the uk apparently earn under twenty five thousand pound a year right that is a fifth of all of your money all of your fifth of all your cash right so if you're mm-hmm. making if you're a company making an e-bike think about that because you yeah. the rich people are massively outnumbered by the n- people who aren't rich so if you get the people that think? aren't rich buying your stuff you're gonna be all right so what i reckon the right price yeah i reckon right price point you gotta be two grand maximum maximum nice. for making your what's bike. the ideal then yeah i'd say the, i'd say the ideal price point is like 1500 quid you know because as someone who's not yet middle class or isn't yeah. middle class at all technically speaking it's still a lot that's a, that's a hard still bargain, a lot of bro. money you know i think my boardman was like four or five hundred and it yeah. was the best bike I ever owned it was great it was tremendous yeah. you know but, but yeah, I, 1500 quid because the thing is most people also as well aren't gonna have the funds to just drop that money on it you know go there pay for it so you're talking people yeah. are going to become with Klarna finance. or finance yeah. whatever you know like for me if you're doing finance stuff you want it to be less you want to not be paying like a hundred pounds a month for it yeah. you know you want to get it as close to like 50 pound and under a month yeah you know what i mean yeah. and just yeah so that's what people should be aiming for so make it aesthetically pleasing give it a good price point um and then thirdly is market better i was literally about to say that like if you wouldn't say it i was gonna say like i see like zero good marketing for electric bikes whatsoever i don't think i've seen a single advert not that i watch a lot of adverts or anything but like youtube like anything like they're they're, they're nowhere are they they're they're they're, like no one's there's don't see a billboard a poster a youtube advert even you know? If you said to a layman, like if you said to a layman who had no idea about anything about electric bikes or bikes in general, right? And you went, hey, um, what's like the big e-bike company? What would they say? <laughs> yeah. What would they, like if they didn't know anything about, I don't think they'd say anything. They'd be like, oh, um, electric bikes. So then you mean like the, the service where you can rent an electric bike? <laughs> I, I guarantee you they wouldn't have like a name or anything like that, which is crazy to me because it's such a huge market. Yeah. It should be. Yeah, I think. And. It's kind of like it's like at the moment marketing, all their all their marketing is hearsay. Is people they're banking on other it's people word of mouth, yeah, talking exactly. about their crap. You know yeah. what I mean? Is it, that's all it is. That that's all it is. So those three elements, aesthetically pleasing, a, be- a good price point, and just market better. Make people know that the thing is actually there. Yeah in the first place even and like, then once even you've done all those three things you'll get people doing this <laughs> you see you see you get people yeah. doing that like, um yeah i even think they could just go hey um because cycle to work schemes is such a big thing in most workplaces these days right yeah just go hey um i'm gonna you to work with a cycle to work scheme because there are a bunch of them right yeah uh, and say, hey, if they get an electric bike, uh, they get ten percent off or five percent off, or mm. something like that, right? And that would give you, for money, for bank for a buck, right? Especially if you're pricing to have a decent profit margin, that's a great way to market. And yeah. I, I, when I went to get my e-bike, that wasn't even I had to search for it. Like I didn't even realize I could get it. I had to double check. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 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 It's all it's it's, it's marketing, mate. It is marketing. So now, yeah. guys. We are going to move on from electric bikes. So, if you're not interested in anything but electric bikes, you can peace out now. I hope you stay, though, because we're going to get into being fat, aren't we, Zoc? And, yeah, and if you if you, if you you are also, you can come join us in the, in the journey. Not yeah. not necessarily fat, although we're comfortable saying that we are, because yeah. we are, <laughs> yeah. or we feel we are, right? Yeah. Um, but if you're like even like, oh, I want to get healthier, that's also going to be a big part of this segment right and like just learning about how to be healthier like the first time i think jay started going down like the weight loss route i think i showed you like was it my fitness pal or something yeah 
at the time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we're just learning about how how many calories are in the things that you eat, which will surprise the hell out of you, I'm sure. It was drinks, mate. It was. I stayed out to drinks. everyone. It was drinks because you think they're yeah. free. Oh, you just assume yep. it's like it's liquid. This ain't making me fat. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm there like fucking dining four fucking full fat cans of fucking Monster Energy a day, which are like 300 calories a can. You know what I mean? Yep. So you just yep. just stuff and like drinking like full fat Coke or full fat just drinks in general. Just beers. Yeah. It's yeah. Beers. Well. Just yeah massive eye-opener to me yep. and and, yep. and the funny thing is once you start dieting yeah you realize the calories that are in these drinks it's actually the bet the e the best way to stop drinking these drinks because your mm. mind automatically goes to if i drink this drink i can't have a fucking muffin or something yeah, i can't have a chocolate and, bar yeah i can't I have can't a chocolate have, bar yeah, exactly. and like yeah, 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 yeah once you have that you can just bin those drinks off, man. You you you, you yeah. realize how insignificant they are. To yeah. you know, you can just go. I'm just gonna have fucking water. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just fucking. I I also up. plan on on hopefully getting um because Jay said something that in a way was insulting but also wasn't at all. So we went back because we've been making videos together for like five years now, more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on and off anyway. Um. You fucking and talking about your, how you're shaking your feet, aren't you? You're shaking the camera. Oh, it's it's it look like you have an earthquake. Cool. There's an earthquake in Birmingham right now. That's technically called neat, which is um. But we'll get into that. It's like the the calories you burn from excess calories. Yeah. The, the calories you burn because you your body moves because it's having too many calories. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, like five years ago, and I was making videos myself as well. And you were saying I'm not actually moving my feet. My my thing. <laughs> Um, how you said I miss a Zach that does research and stuff and like looks into stuff. So yeah. I'm planning on like bringing up like um studies. I found one recently about the effects of aspartame, which is an artificial sweetener found in like diet cokes and yeah. stuff, and how that affects your body's metabolism and whether or not it's good for weight loss. Because in theory, you think it would be because mm. the aspartame being an artificial sweetener doesn't really have any calories, so diet coke yeah. has zero calories, right? But uh, there's science that suggests that maybe it affects your metabolism. Well, it's like anyway. one of the, it's like what I used to say. What I used to say to you. One of my favorite things about you is how much you know about useless stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, but you can funnel that Very skill true. when it comes to weight loss into just learning yeah. these niche techniques. You know, mm. to just losing those extra pounds or kilograms you know what i mean so it's like mm. yeah it's really helpful um inquisitive mind i guess you know when you mm. d instead of just consuming something you look for other people talking about the same thing you know what i mean and then people get and then people get really bored about the fact that it's like bro i'm just trying to watch this show why are you talking about <laughs> yeah. or something I don't know. um but yeah i think the main thing to think about just as the starting for this subject and the starting for everything is if you are trying to follow in our footsteps or whatever, yeah. not that we've made any yet. Yeah. Um, although we're both down like 40 pounds from yeah. when we were yeah, yeah, our yeah, heaviest yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Calories in, calories out. Biggest thing. Yeah. If you want to shut off, let me impart this. This was calories in, calories out. That's Honestly, anyone trying to lose weight, we've all seen them on Facebook and like these fucking people. And they're like, they're always American. There's like, they're, they're like, have you seen people saying take have less calories to lose weight it's a lie and it's like no it's not it's the fucking truth no. it's it, it, it's it's, it's, it, it's, it's the surefire it's... way find out what your calorie your calorie deficit is do that and yep. you will lose weight simple yep. as that it's you know like if your goal weight. is simply losing weight not gaining muscle not getting fitter fitter fuck me that was bristolian fitter. Not getting fitter <laughs> um just reduce your calories you know if you want to do it slow find out find out what your calorie you know your average calorie to maintain is there's millions of, ca of calculators out there go and use it find out what it is knock 300 off it you'll slowly lose weight you know yep it's as simple yep. as that you know and even if you don't want to do that right because obviously everyone's different and like the older you are the harder it is because the l less calories you probably need because your metabolism's slower or whatever right um just do like two weeks 
track everything you eat, track where your first starting weight was, see if you went up, down, or stayed the same. If you stayed the same, that's your basal metabolic rate, which is exactly how many calories you need to just live and exist, assuming you're not exercising, right? And that's not 200 off that. If you want to gain weight, put 200 on. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing as well, because that is another way, but like, because we always assume getting healthier is losing weight, but some people's goal is the exact opposite. You know, yeah, uh, exactly. you know, they need to put, need to, you know, gain some weight. So it's exactly the same principle, just reversed. Add to it, yep. you know, and don't know, you yep. don't have to add loads. You don't have to go have McDonald's every day, you know, just have extra packet of crisp and a fucking chocolate bar on top of what you're already yeah. doing. And you'll, yeah. gradu- you'll or, gradually or you fat. could add healthy foods too, but that's yeah. also possible. Yeah, or you can add, you can, <laughs> you want it too. Um, I'm not, no, not into that. If you, if you, if, if your goal, if your goal is simply to gain weight, you might as well do it the fun way. Yeah. You know what I mean? True. You know, might mean, as well just have it. That's how we would do it. But maybe yeah. that's why we're in might the Might as well have an extra, chi- an extra triple cheeseburger at Macca's. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Internet just uh, decided to kite. Um, what were we saying? <laughs> um, I was going to say, yeah. So all that being said, it's easier said than done. Uh, so I guess the question I'm asking myself and I'm asking you, if you want to answer, is why do you feel like you've gained it back, or gained some back at least? What you asking me? You you? I mean, I I can ask if you're comfortable answering, but I can yeah. also just answer for myself. Um, one of the things is laziness, fucking pure laziness. Um, for sure, yeah. Because like, I add, like. I make up stories for myself. God. So, so like, when I lost all of it originally, I had a car accident, right? I had a car accident. And then, like, I put on, like, two stone. And I was like, oh, it's because I had a car accident. It's like, that didn't make me eat. I made myself eat. You know what I mean? It's Thing like, I, though, couldn't, it's... I couldn't exercise, but that doesn't mean that I can't still eat okay. You know, yeah. I'm just feeling sorry for myself, and I think that's a big, big part of it. Just feeling sorry for myself, um, yeah. but just laziness, L- laziness, man. Because like, and thirdly, n- thirdly and lastly, I fucking love unhealthy food, bro. <laughs> Honestly, I can't tell you how much enjoyment I get from yeah. yamming down a double quarter pounder at McDonald's. You know what I mean, <laughs> or like a KFC or something like that. Just, it just, it's so good. You know, is it the second one, right? Which is probably the one that affects me the most, right? Also, I'm I'm on certain medications which have side effects of um, weight gaining because it, it spikes. Um, I forget if it's ghrelin that's your hunger hormone, some like that. Right. Um, but it basically sp- spikes your appetite to be like, oh my god, if you don't eat, you're gonna die. That's what it makes <laughs> you feel like. You can still not eat, you can still try, but it's difficult. Um, but I think another version, another part of it is, I think the reason I originally gained it, because for the mo- majority of our friendship, you've known me as not a big boy. It's, I've been mostly relatively fit, really. Like, yeah, majority is good, but that majority of time is growing smaller and smaller, though, mate. Yeah, it's true, it's true. You it's like, it's getting more 50-50, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, yeah, because I think we've known each other for a decade now, mm. 10 years, yeah. and you gained weight, it's COVID, isn't it? COVID, yes, you gained weight. So we're talking four years now. Four years yeah. of that 10. Yeah. It's getting, so so it's, one more year, one more yeah, year, yeah, and it'll yeah. be half the time I've known you. You've been, you've been, I'll fit, sort it out. yeah, but yeah, you've <laughs> been, you've not only been like slim, you've been fit. Mm. You know, because they're it's two different things. Like people, 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 people like to mix, yeah, yeah, people yeah, like yeah, to yeah. mix them up, but they are two different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you used to do my edit. We used to go to the gym, and I'm there walking, man. I'm fucking knackered i'm walking on the treadmill we'd go go for a 30 we used to do a 35 minute treadmill treadmill stuff and i'm walking on a treadmill this motherfucker's next to me running and still talking to me <laughs> he's running and still fucking having a conversation i'm there like <sighs> i'm just walking Mental. i would murder to get to that point again <laughs> i will eventually i'm sure yeah um but yeah that's um i think the biggest thing for me is just it's just it's the most classic thing. it's comfort eating man mm. like if i'm stressed as shit 
Yeah. Like the only thing I want to do that's going to give is me eat. a spike of dopamine yeah. is eat. I'm just going to, I'm just like, okay, well, um, everything's crumbling around me. So uh, yeah. I guess I'll do a double quarter pounder with you. Yeah. Know. And the thing is with me, it's like, I love fucking food. I love food, but like really good food. You know, like, like I don't know, you know, when you watch these, um, these like documentaries of people that are like, m like morbidly obese, right? So, yeah, so I, so I watched one the other day, and this woman was like, they asked her what was her biggest thing, yeah, like the, and she used to, you know multi packs of crisps. Yeah. She used to get multi packs of these crisps called discos. Right? I don't know if you've ever had discos, right. yeah, but they're the shittest yeah. crisp on the surface. You know, yeah. I love crisps. They're just basic fucking crap crisps. Yeah. Yeah. And she just eat the whole multi pack, like twelve packets of crisp and she'll just eat it like that's the packet of crisp you know what i mean yeah. that kind of stuff does not interest me in the slightest i'm like that is boring yeah, ass no, food that's, you know bold, yeah, boring yeah. i want some intense flavorisms you know what i mean yeah, 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 yeah. like <laughs> your pizza I, this is the reason why you're fat is because of your pizza mate and if i could mm. make pizza Very like true. you make pizza honestly i'd be <laughs> size of a fucking house yeah but yeah that initial bite when you bite into it and you're just that burst of of flavor so that's that's what I'm ratatouille. after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yeah, that's I what I'm after. I'm not after just comfort eating like fucking toast. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I want, I want some uh, not gourmet. <laughs> I want so not not gourmet. That's not the word, but something you know, good, something really nice that makes In, it all... like a meal, like more yeah. meal kind like, of. Oh yeah, yeah. god, that's banging, mate. You say that your favorite food is McDonald's. Yeah, that's good I'm shit. That tastes fucking <laughs> good, mate. It tastes good, but it depends on the McDonald's, right? So. Our local McDonald's in Long Old Green, not very good. Like stuff comes out of there dry a lot. Like they've oh, overcooked okay. like the beef patty or whatever, right? Yeah, some quality controls on there. Avon Meads is the best McDonald's in Bristol. That shit is always, always moist in, in the best way possible. <laughs> and <laughs> to be just fair, like, oh, banging. Can and then Chris, like you get the, not crisps, like chips. Go to McDonald's. Yeah. And someone yeah. hands you the chips, and they floppy. I'm like, I, ain't, but I don't want no floppy ass chips. You know, I want my chips to stay solid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Chips, uh, McDonald's fries have a very short window of efficacy, which is why I think people have the the stereotype of, like, you grab like the and you try yeah. and angle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, straight uh, in your mind. Do you know what I find out about um, McDonald's fries? Hit me. So, farmers hate them right mm -hmm. mcdonald's but they have to work with them because they're like 80 percent of their spuds to get sold yeah, to McDonald's, sure. right? but mcdonald's will not accept spuds with any black marks on so they have to be purely white and they have to be at least a certain length yeah right because they want that is it russets they have to have yeah because they want that um like when you're holding the packet they want that the chip comes all the way up to the top and then hangs over yeah. that kind of yeah, yeah, that yeah. aesthetic is all about aesthetics yeah. so russet burbank yeah i couldn't believe it so it's like so a lot of people like farmers sometimes they do like a whole harvest they do and they do like a random check on it so like they'll go and spade out like 50 50 mm -hmm. of these potatoes and if like two or three of them have black marks they'll say no to the whole lot Bruh. you know and then the farmer's got to find somewhere else to fucking put these fucking potato harvest i love, I love me some taters you know it's like it's mad mate mad mm. and like they have because they have the monopoly essentially on the spuds they can pretty much do what the hell they want you know oh no but yeah just yeah, yeah. well but that's that's Memes. me that's that's me why do you think that you put on weight just yeah just comfort eating yeah. medications played a role but other than that i think comfort just like there's so much stress that's constantly going on in my life yeah. And to be fair, right? So a year or so ago, was it two years now? No. Don't say two years. It's not two years. <laughs> no. Like 18 months ago, I got quite sick, right? Yeah. Um, And the first two months of that sickness, right? I kept to my diet what we were doing, even though we weren't doing the podcast anymore, yeah. right? I kept to my diet and I wasn't, I was doing a thing. I completely forgot I even did this. I was having no sweets, no chocolates, mm -hmm. calorie deficit, all that, all that stuff. And the first two months, I was fine. I was like, ah, I'll get through this illness, whatever, right? And like the the year, like 
that happened, like tons of stressful stuff happened. Let's not let's even ignore like COVID as a thing, right? But like just work stress, um, life stress, uh, my girlfriend's health, my girlfriend's family's health, um, my family's health, my health, right? And like everything came down all at once. I think it just it it just came to a point where it's just like look, I don't have the mental bandwidth to <laughs> handle this and keep doing the stuff that I know is technically good for me in the long term because I just need I just need some I just need help. I just need some dopamine, just need some, whatever, right? Yeah. And I think I just went, yeah, fuck it. Like if if everything's going down, I might as well go down with it. <laughs> um which isn't necessarily the best take. Um because once again I got down four kilos away from my goal weight, which is like eight pounds. Ten yeah. pounds. Pounds, which is I don't Very know what that is in stone. I don't know what you use. Is it pounds in stone? It is. Yeah, pounds in stone. Fourteen, fourteen yeah, so pounds in like, stone. That's like a really, really lean month or two okay months. And yeah. then I was at my goal. I was done. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think the pro. I always find it strange, like for me personally, because I know, like I have evidence to show how fast I can lose weight if I put my mind to it. Right. Yep. So you'd think that would be, you'd think that would make me go, oh, nice, easy. I do this piece of piss. Does not, does not, mate. You got to be in that. Like for me, I said, I said it on our previous podcast, and I'll say it on this one. May some people may hate this. Some may people people may love this. Right. The main thing that motivates me is shame. Right. So like, not someone go, not someone shame. giving me positive vibes is shame like i a moment will happen just like i mentioned earlier in the podcast seeing me jiggle like fuck on that fucking camera gives me the appropriate self-shame to go mm. i need to lose weight right yeah and like ruth will okay she doesn't do it often because she loves me so she wants to be nice but occasionally she'll make like that co a comment you know be like go on be like i can see your belly or something like that. Something, something along those lines, right? And Technically, you can always yeah. see your belly, yeah. right? And that I mean, works a lot better for me than, oh, you're doing so well. I'm just, oh, shut up. Give me, give me some, give me some shame. Give me some, give me some, it, uh, some shame. It depends. From, and like me know, and you, and like for viewers, me and Zach and our girlfriends and um my girlfriend's best friend and her bloke. Are going to a cabin next next December for a winter break with a hotel. So my biggest motivation at the moment is to not have the biggest tits in that in that <laughs> in that cabin. You know what I mean? So I have the opposite goal. No. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my biggest motivation at the moment because I want to feel comfortable. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, like I could be. Buck ass naked in front of you. I wouldn't care in the slightest, right? Yeah. But you're my boy. Everyone there isn't my isn't my best friend. So <laughs> yeah, it's like I got I gotta be I gotta be okay. Like I know in a year I'm not gonna be fucking Jason Momoa, you know what I mean? But yeah. I can at least not be spilling out of my of my um swimming trunks, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I get you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think one of the biggest things when I um last time we did this, I was like um the biggest thing that was to stop me from doing like um like a hot tub or something like that was mainly just stretch marks, because like yeah. I had stretch marks that gained so quickly over like the COVID period. Um, they're pretty much gone now, but that's not the best thing in the world. No, I mean, it's just, in terms of they're still there, it's just but they're not like red and not like, yeah, it's back just, out it's, again. Just... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. they're they're there, but the biggest thing with stretch marks, I don't know if you had them or experienced them much. Um, like when they first come in, they're like gnarly red and like yeah. purple, almost like bruise. Um, and they fade over time, so they're pretty much just skin tone now, which is fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it would be nice. I'm lucky. Going. All my, I guess I'm lucky in terms of having stretch marks because I have stretch marks, but they're all in places that are easily hidden. Oh yeah, like or armpits or some. Yeah, I don't have many of my armpits because that's where your big ones were, weren't they? On, on like your arms. Yeah, there. some of them. Yeah, yeah, on my yeah. Arms. yeah, yeah. Um, like I have like some like in my groin area, like right <laughs> in the yeah. crease, so yeah, always yeah. hidden. Um, bottom of my back. Yeah. So bottom of my back, but it's hidden by a load of fuzz. 
because I have a Harry ba- <laughs> Harry Banks is hidden by Fuzz. Um, yep. Yeah. So yeah, and they are all the same tone as my skin color. So mm. they're right. They're just shiny. If that makes sense. It looks like they got foil on yeah, them. Yeah. yeah. You know, so <laughs> like, I, or like, um, secret rare stretch, marks, yeah, right, yeah, secret rare stretch marks, you know, so in certain lights, they like shine. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of lucky in, in that sense. That's good. Um, yeah, but yeah, I just want to get rid of the titties, mate. That's the biggest thing for me, getting rid of those titties, you know, mm. because I I'm actually, shame. I think you should... cause I, I, I'm, I'm one of those, like, some people are quite strange, like. And some people like like you, when you gain weight, you gain everywhere, don't you? All over your body all at mm. once. Whereas like me, yeah. I gain from the waist upwards. So yep. like I've always got yeah. like normal yeah. sized legs, you know? Mm. Whereas like I yeah. gain just from the waist upwards. So it's yeah. yeah, it's so when I lose weight, it does the same thing. My legs kind of always remain the same, you know. It's like even when I lost I lost it's like right. five stone. Mm. I went. I only went down like one, uh, like waist size. Trouser on size. Trouser. I only went yeah, down yeah, one yeah, trouser yeah, size yeah. in five stone. Yeah. You know, because it just all comes yeah. off from up above. I know? think it immediately goes onto my ass. And <laughs> just keeps going. Yeah. Physically. He does have um, a big old ass, don't you? Don't you? Zoc? <laughs> <laughs> ass and then and hips, man. You saw. I showed you a photo. Yeah. Those those like, hips do not lie, sir. Lightest. Yeah. Like I was at my lightest, and I was exercising a lot. I still have hips. Like they just, uh, <laughs> I have my mother's hips. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was um, a bit grim. Yeah. Uh, but what I'll do you now? You say shame. Carry on. Carry on. You say shame, mm. but I think the other big thing is also accountability, not necessarily shame. Yeah. So I think what what you found useful, and I also to an extent found useful as well, was having this like check in of being yeah. like, hey, do you lose weight? I'm like, oh no, because like, like I said earlier, right? A lot of people can go, ah, uh, I'm gaining, but I'll deal with it in a few weeks, right? When you're confronted by the reality and you force yourself to confront the reality every week after week, you're gonna be like, okay, even if you mess up for a week, which we both done before, yeah. um, it's like, oh, that's fine. I'm I'm gonna do next week. I'll just go a bit harder, and I'll get back to either where I was, which yeah. means it's kind of an even out, or I'll I'll lose less, so I'll be lower anyway. Yeah which is um, important. Very much so. Yeah. Yeah. I, the, the accountability definitely works for me. Mine's less accountability, more competition. Right? <laughs> so, which will bleed into the next bit that I want to talk about. So, what I'm going to do sure. is I'm going to share my screen now. And both of us should be on it, which we are. So, what me and, me and Zoc are doing is we are tracking our... Yep goals so i currently have zach's open here so zach's current weight if i can um zoom in a little bit can i can i can no. you no it's being it's being a little it's being a little knobhead it's because i'm using oh i'm using my uh windows keyboard on my mac so i don't know what the appropriate um it would be control if you're trying to zoom control and scroll wheel yeah uh, yeah uh. Uh, I've sod it. People can see. I'll just talk for it. So, Zach at this present moment is two hundred and thirty-five pounds. What is that in kilograms, Zach? That is uh one hundred and six kilograms. One hundred and six kilograms for people out there that work in those measurements. Um, and your goal weight is one eighty-five. One eighty-five. So, what's that? Fifty pounds. Fifty pounds. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's exactly. not that's not, that's not bad, is it? So you're talking yeah. like twenty two kilograms, something like that. Yeah, around about. Yeah, around um, about twenty two. Well, half K. half half the weight that I've already lost again. Yeah, so I lost about fifty pounds. Yeah, so yeah, it's like yeah, twenty one, yeah. twenty two kilograms. So what we'll do is every every week. I'm not going to say every week because I'm not sure exactly how often we're going to do the podcast. Um, yep. Whether it be weekly, bi weekly, whatever. So, but we will be recording every week. Yes. And then Zach's made this fancy um, spreadsheet for us. Try to. So what we'll have is the percentage of total body weight lost that week. Yeah. Percentage percentage of total goal weight. So the percentage of the goal done. Yeah. And then obviously the weight here. The weight that we lost per week here. Um, So yeah, Zach, 235 pounds. How do you feel about that? Uh... 
what my current weight being yeah. at. Not great. Not great. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the thing that sticks. Wait, can we the go most, onto my like, fucking page? Um, yeah. <laughs> the thing that sticks the most is because I was like two ninety, almost three hundred, like two ninety six, something like that, right? Yeah. So I've lost like fifty or whatever, which is great. Like if I just lost it and I stayed around where I am now, I'd be like, you know, I made a lot of progress. Yeah. Uh, I feel I feel great about it. Uh, I only going down, right? But the fact that I was like, <laughs> I was like one ninety, yeah. one ninety five already, feels kind of rough, man. It feels yeah. kind of. <laughs> but as soon as I start losing again, that'll go away. Yeah. The the the, the you're upset. You're, that you I'm are getting. a creature of habit, aren't you? So as soon as you get into when you get into that mind frame of this is what I do, you're usually pretty sound once you're in it, aren't you? Of just following. the question is. Do I do no sweets, no chocolates again? No, no, <laughs> no. Go have some chocolate. No. Go, go have some treat. You know what I mean? The, yeah. The question is, I guess, am I going to be tracking calories, or am I just going to try and be like into it? Track calories, bro. Track calories. Oh, but it's so much effort. <laughs> Dad, track calories. Get your. I know you. You got lose it or my fitness power. One of them. I've got lose it. Yeah. Now, yeah. Track calories. Um. Because then we can share that data as well. Mm. Um, is the things. the worst part about s- tracking calories for anyone who wants to try it is the first like two weeks. Yeah, like the first two weeks when you're tracking everything that you usually get and you usually eat, it's every scan, everything, right? But once you got like your your mini cheddars, your whatever the whatever it is that you yeah. like, right? <laughs> Already booked in, it's just a tap. It's just bam. I have one of those. I have one of those. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Whereas like, the first two weeks is like. I have to eat something, but the the scannable barcode is downstairs. <laughs> but I've just eaten it. I yeah. it'll be rough for two weeks, then I'll be alright. And then if you're like me, where I am lucky, I don't cook any of my own food. My girlfriend does it for me. Um, we have like a two week meal plan, which kind of just repeats after two weeks. So once I've scanned all those meals in, after two weeks, I don't even have to scan anymore. I just find the meal inside and lose it. Bang. And done, Dude. you know what I mean. And then I only have to worry about if I change in the measurements if I have a little bit less or a little bit more or whatever. Or you have After new that. snacks. Yeah, I have new it. snackies, new snackies in the middle of it, um, which is fine. So then next up is me. So I am three hundred and eleven pounds as of two hours ago when I weighed, which annoys the living tits off me. Well, I wish it did. Um, annoys me because when i lost weight recently i was playing football i got to 292 right and i was like the only thing i care about right now is never going above 300 again (laughs) and so obviously i failed at that miserably um i love your center stage (laughs) zooming in your face (laughs) how dramatic this is so i failed at that miserably um, not miss that's that's two or three good weeks and you're back down to below 300 yeah maybe i could do it's it in a week. So i could do it in a fucking week Pro fucking don't 11 week, 11 pound of fucking week mate. Trust me. um <laughs> to be yeah. fair that's another thing that's another yeah. thing as well we've done this a few times now we know that the first week when you try and lose weight you're gonna lose like five no, yeah five yeah, pounds because yeah. you're you're dropping water weight you're not eating like shit anymore yeah the first week's always gonna be bigger don't expect that every single week no, after do just. not do not like yeah, uh, the, for me only brings sadness. for me i lose loads like the first week yeah still a big amount probably for the next two or three and then so, it slows yeah, then yeah. it slows down so it's like, usually yeah, your first month pounds. you lose the bulk of what you're trying to lose um, yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah so that's where i'm at my goal is two five six pounds which is 18 stone like bang on i believe yeah um the lightest I've ever been is 289. So once I reach 289, I'll be the lightest I've ever been and hopefully feel back to some kind of normality. Because The lightest you've ever been is 289? 289. 289, yeah. So that photo of you in that white t-shirt, the one I sent you like a year ago, yeah. that says 289. Yeah. Bro, you're not far at all. Yeah. We can get you back down to there in a couple of months, bro. We'll fucking see, bro. We'll yeah, that's it. fucking. I think I think you shouldn't be too shamed about no. being above three three hundred or anything because that's because like... it was. Hang on, twenty stone and eight lbs in lbs. 
288, yeah. So 288, I was, not 289. We'll get you there. We'll get yeah. you there in like three months, four months. Easy. Yeah. So that is, yeah, so 288. So what's that, like 23 pangs from where I am right now? Yeah, so you'll lose five two stone. the first week, I'd Two say. stone, basically. Two stone. Ish. 28 pounds. Yeah, that will be 28 pounds. pounds would be two yeah. stone. Um, Yeah, so just under two stone. I can do that. Noise. Yeah. You, we can do that. Easy, do bro. That. Yeah, but that that is, so that's how we're going to track, guys. So if you want to join us on our little journey... We'd love it. We'd love to discuss it. Should as well. we, should we, uh, put a link to the sheet if people want to join? Um, not our sheet specifically, but just a template for if they want to do this as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. I'll put it in the description. So in the description, I'll get a copy of this. Um, and then guys, if you want to track along with us, you can use the same, the same things we are. Um, and I'll drop that in the description of this video. Yars. 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 So, um, yeah, that is what we'll do. Um, cool. But, yeah, not much else to say on our wait, really, until next week. And we got For now. More... Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to say next week or whenever yeah. we do the next one. Just to be like, yeah, no. Either we either, well, we're either going to do amazing yeah. or uh, it's going to be bad because Christmas, but we'll see. Yeah. So, last but not least is just some levity, just some, just some funny, funny stories. Do you want to go first, Doc, or do you want me to go first? Oh, uh, I can go. F you go first, first? if you want yeah. to bring up bring up the video. Yeah, the the YouTube short. Yeah. Yep. Right. I'm gonna hit uh, play. When you... Yep. Mm, hang on. I'm not sharing it on the on the part. There we go. Hit play now. The order? I'll do the chicken sandwich. And would you like that as the premium edition mm. that comes with a drink and fries sometime in the future? But I still get the different colored fork, right? Yes, the fork is included with all pre-orders, as is the digital art box. Great. Here's your premium sandwich. And your drink. We hope you enjoy it. This isn't what I ordered. It is what you paid for. This sucks. Oh, well, let me just patch that up for you. No, I ordered a chicken sandwich, not this garbage. We hear you and we have taken your complaints to heart. Don't worry, our chefs are being overworked and underpaid, so please just give us a few more months. How about now? <laughs> well, this is slightly better, but what the fuck? <laughs> uh huh? No. Huh? Okay, this is actually pretty good, but still and fries. Ooh, fries. Are we ready to pre <laughs> yeah. Starfield, that's what I'm saying. Starfield. That's what I'm saying. Starfield, Starfield what I'm saying. Cyberpunk, No Man's Sky, all these yep. all these different games. Um people may not realize that we play games, Doki, so you probably would I was gonna say this is a good video to start with to show that we're just a bit games. more about us. Yeah, we're, into uh, we're into games. So, yeah. Um I think it's really sad the way things are happening. But it's also an incredibly funny yeah, video moral about how of the story is. I think is just just guys don't pre-order pre games. Just don't just especially don't just don't. single player games. There's absolutely no reason to pre-order a single game, a single player game. Nope. None, because you're not nope. getting people aren't you know out leveling you or out gearing you or whatever. Hmm. You know, just don't bother. Waste of time. That's, Waste. That, that's not to shame you if you have done it in the past. Me and Jay both. I think we yeah. did. We both do it for Cyberpunk. And then, oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I did it for Cyberpunk. Yeah, and then I spent all of my like Christmas week trying to figure out any setting that would let me play it. <laughs> like, and I was just, I was just so done, bro. And it, I've yeah, still there was got, no I've still got a save on Cyberpunk on Xbox. I don't have an Xbox anymore. Where Johnny is stuck inside of a trash can, so I can't <laughs> move forward in the next part of the quest. Right. The next oh part of the mission God. that I'm doing, because he's just stood there in a trash can with his smoking a cigarette. Mm. And, I'm and like, you might be on. saying, you might be saying, oh, but, but Jay and Zach, but I trust this developer. No. 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 One, don't trust Bethesda anymore. They have given you zero reason to trust. <laughs> yeah. But two, we trusted CD Projekt oh, yeah. Red because Witcher. Witcher. We're like, oh, my, there's no way. There's no shot I'll be back. And then yeah. it happens. So just... Yeah. 
There's never a good reason. It's, never do it. Never but it's an incredibly it. funny video. Yeah. I think they should have changed the fact that um it got better with more time from the developer to yeah. oh we had some random strangers come in from the kitchen and fix everything, which is <laughs> yeah. basically modding community which for every modern, Bethesda modern game community. ever. Yeah, 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 fixing everything about your broken game, um, which is yeah. just wild, isn't it? Because these people, these modders yeah. aren't even being paid for it. They just like oh, I just need to fix this game so I can actually play it. You know, um, yeah, wild, yeah. wild. My story happened yesterday on my cycle, on my cycle, right? And it's both funny and a little bit heartbreaking, actually. So, so basically the same to me. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I'm riding, just take my video, do my video, finish up my video, and then I stop to um, just have a vape turn all my camera stuff mm. off all that kind of stuff so i'm sat on this bench woman comes up got this absolutely gorgeous german shepherd right mm. so got a german shepherd i see it my immediate reaction as a dog man is i walk straight over to the dog because she gives they give you the dog gives you that look and the owner gives you that look of you can touch my dog kind of thing right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah sure so i walk up i bend down and i'm like tickling the dog dog nips at me like goes like bite my face right touches yeah, yeah. me a little bit on the chin nothing major right this woman starts freaking out right she's like oh my god she don't know what's doing she just bl she just blurts out she goes um do you want my information and i'm like i'm like for what and she's like <laughs> in case you you know wanted to report it and i was like god no i was like god no and she was like oh my god yeah, are you yeah. sure and i'm like yeah god no and i'm like the only it's like it just basically head butted me. I was like, he didn't, didn't, didn't bite me. Um, yeah. And she was like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And I was like, I was like, I'm going to be honest with you, my love. I was like, even if you bit my face off, I wouldn't be reporting it. And I was like, yeah. I, was like I was like, I was like, I'm the, I'm the guy that mm. foolishly walked over, put my face next to a dog that I'd never met. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm yeah. like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to let my mistake be I'm paid for by the dog you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i mean and i and it and then it's the heartbreaking side is i don't know how often that happens you know how often yeah. as a dog being sadly put down because it nips someone that had done exactly that what invades I his personal space yeah yeah, 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 yeah yeah you know because i was i said to her i was like he's probably just thinking he's protecting you so like, well, yeah, yeah. you know he's gonna you pay thing, the price yeah. for it kind of thing mm. but yeah i came home and told ruth and she was like oh god no she's like I'd never ever ever report report that ever, yeah you know yeah, yeah, yeah. and i was like because it's not like the dog was running wild you know the owner yeah. wasn't being responsible that kind of thing i walked yeah. up and was like yeah, willow, yeah. Willow, 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 exactly. with the dog yeah and it yeah, went yeah. nom on me kind of thing nom. so yeah i was just like no no i'm not no. reporting it and she was just like so thankful you know and i was just like oh, thank me i was like i just don't want a dog to die Simple as that. Yeah. I, was like, I, I was like, it's selfish reasons. I don't want to. I don't want to be responsible. Maybe for a she, dog being well, okay. Like, maybe there's a darker turn to that happy story. Is maybe she like maybe she hated that dog. I was yeah. just like, <laughs> let's go. This yeah, is it. Bite him. <laughs> bite him so I can get ready. It's finally yeah. okay. <laughs> I God. hope not. I hope not. Um, but yeah. Okay. Good pod, Zach. Good pod. Good pod. Merry yeah. Christmas, every who yeah, celebrates. Merry, merry, you merry, merry, happy, merry Christmas. Happy Tuesday, Monday, Monday. It's gonna be yeah, because this 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 will drop at lunchtime on Christmas Day. Yeah. So, thank you very much, peoples. It's been Let's fantastic. What you think? What we you got like? our, we, I yeah. didn't even mention we had our Christmas jumpers on. I've got an Iron Man one. Zach's got a Spider Man, Spider -Man. one. Yeah. Come, yours looks more of like, if it went red, if it was just white, it would looks more of a Venom. A Venom one rather than it a Spider-Man one. Yeah, it's very yeah. true. Yeah, it's but true. yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. But thank you very much for watching, people. I have been Jay. I've been Zach. And this has been the Charging Podcast. We will catch you next time. See ya. <laughs>